All right, what's up, guys? I'm just going to use this time to uh, explain why I use the 15-minute chart on SPX. Like right here, you can see this is the last three days, and you'll put, kind of see where I got my pivot points from because I've been talking about them for the last three days, basically. And I'm using the 7, 2721 as a pivot because if it goes here, it's typically going to go up, and if it comes down, it's typically going to go all the way down to the 2711. Um, or like right here today it got rejected at it but then it's just a perfect level to use as support and resistance and the reason I'm using the 15 minute chart is you'll get shaken out or you'll um, enter too early if you're um, base playing based on like a five minute or a three minute or a one minute chart like on this rise right here you might have went long because you're thinking it's breaking but if you wait for that 15 minute candle to close we ended all the way down here so it's it's just for me it the the SPX respects the 15 minute time frame more so than any other time frame that I found. I'm sure everybody uses different ones. Some people trade the hourly, the, the five minute, the one minute even. But that's just not for me. I use the 15 minute, and it seems to do me well. And with the pivots that I've been talking about, I mean, you can see how much it's respected. Even this is back in Friday. I mean, you'll see we. That's when it first created the support there. We went up, it tested that, and that's when it created that little pivot right there, 2721. Came down, tested that 2711 again, and that really just reiterated the support. Came up, and then it had a little bit of trouble here, right here at the 2721. And then we spiked all the way up to that 2731. And what did we do? We came right back down to the pivot. And from then on out, it's just literally just been playing 2721 to 2731 to 2711 to 27. Like, look at these three times off 2731. Four times, or yeah, four times now off of 2711, and we've pivoted and passed through one, two, three, four, five times on the 2721. So if you're literally trying to trade this, you can scalp between these levels. If it if it comes to this and we get through, then you can maybe scalp along up to 2721, like if, from here to here, or you could scalp to 2721 down to 2711. Um, and that's just basically a description on why I'm using the SPX 15 and why it works for me and why I think it respects it the most as opposed to any other time frame. But again, you could use whatever one you want. I'm just explaining why I'm using the 15 and how it works for me.